Now this Golf Barons reboot is as much about a man as it is about his club. A man willing to lay it all on the line, such was his belief that his invention was going to change the game of golf. This is the story of Gary Adams and his metal wood. The year was 1979 and a driving range supply salesman, whose father happened to be a golf professional, decided golf was ready for a change. He noticed persimmon drivers were not as good at hitting two-piece golf balls as irons were, and believed the new style of balls were here to stay. So Adams borrowed $24,000 against his home, set up a warehouse in McHenry, Illinois, employed three people and sold just one product, a 12 degree driver made of Pittsburgh persimmon. A nod to the steel city. Adams drove to the PGA merchandise show that year with a boot full of his newfangled drivers. The name of this new company? Taylor Made. His belief was justified taking around $50,000 of orders in the first year. Now knowing that PGA Tour endorsement would be critical, he approached a number of pros, most of whom just brushed him off. But a couple of pros who saw a real opportunity and got behind him were Jim Simon and Ron Streck. Streck found the driver was not only exceptional off the tee, but also doubled as a fairway wood thanks to its 12 degree loft bringing longer par fives into two-shot range. He put the Pittsburgh persimmon into his bag that very week. The TaylorMade driver went on to record its first PGA Tour win in Streck's bag at the 1981 Houston Open. Having sold TaylorMade, Gary Adams went on to establish Founders Club as the founder of Metalwoods and McHenry Metals, a name to honour the golf course at which his father was head professional. Adams died in 2000 at the age of 56. And like all great innovators, it's the courage and self-belief of Gary Adams and his metal wood that changed the game of golf forever. And his story is one worthy of being rebooted. <laughs>